Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Big Math, and today we're doing a closed beta tier list for all the heroes in Marvel Rivals. So let's get right into it. Well, let's start off with Hulk. So to me, Hulk is probably the worst tank in the game right now. Um, I think he's probably like at the B or even C. I'm gonna put him uh, B for now. Probably gonna be B, uh, bottom of uh, B tier. So the thing is he can sometimes deal with the uh, Venom and Spider-Man uh, aggressiveness from the opponents, but normally Hulk, you wanna play him as a dive tank, but he's mostly played as like a counter dive um, by brawling the enemy Venom and Spider-Man, but I think there's much better options. So that's why I think he is uh, bottom of B tier or even uh, top of C tier. Uh, but for now, we're going to leave him here. Next up, we have Doctor Strange. So Doctor Strange got a change where he lost his double tap. So he used to be able to do two basic attack by canceling his animation with his shield. It's not a case anymore. And uh, this is a fairly big nerf actually to Doctor Strange. Um, considering the fact that other tanks also got buffed, I think Doctor Strange is uh, a little bit worse than he was. Uh, he used to be S tier. I think he's going to be perhaps bottom of... A? All right, you know what? I think we're going to put him top of B. No, bottom of A. I'm, I'm fine with bottom of A. I don't think it's fair placing him top of B. He still has the portal. He still has a shield. Uh, but we're going to see uh, in just a second that there is some uh, better options. Groot is next. And Groot is definitely on nest tier. Um, Groot still does so much damage. His, his um, walls are still extremely, extremely powerful. Uh, not a lot of change really to Groot but his uh, whole play in the meta is actually better. Once again, really good to deal with like those uh, Spider-Man uh, Spider and Venom uh, type character, and, but he's a little bit weaker to all of those um, Iron Man characters or flying characters that have been uh, more prominent in uh, the meta. So uh, yeah, S tier, probably bottom of S tier I would go for, uh, but still I think Groot is uh, one of the best tank for sure. And then we have Penny Parker. So Penny Parker is a hard one because um, I don't understand how to play her properly, but in the right hands, Penny Parker is a monster right now. Definitely better than Doctor Strange in my humble opinion. Um, she just feels much better in the beta than in the alpha. Uh, she goes top of A. I think her attack speed might have been quick, uh, might be quicker. She got a few reworks. Um, I think she might even have a shield. I'm not too sure. Uh, tough one to rank, but she's at least a tier perhaps even higher once we get like really good players uh, playing Penny Parker and then next up we have my main Magneto guys I think Magneto is great right now so Magneto now has uh, kind of a shield like uh, Doctor Strange um, but also has a bubble that he can apply he can apply to himself so with that said, uh, Magneto is going to go in the S tier, in my opinion. He just has so much more value than he used to in the Alpha. I think he still struggles with, with uh, being a single tank. He's better off when we're pairing him with another tank. But when we, you pair him with the uh, Scarlet Witch, um, his sword or his team up ability is just insane. He can get so much potential. Pairing him up with Groot, pair him up with any, anything else. Now he can be the front line. He still needs support, but he can be the front line with a shield and with uh, with his shield and then with the barrier. Uh, Magneto just has so much value and he's very fun to play. Great to poke, just misses a little bit of range. Um, that's his biggest weakness, but uh, nonetheless, Magneto very, very solid. And then finally, we have the new character Venom, uh, the new tank to the game. And Venom is definitely top of S tier. Okay, Venom is fantastic. Venom is probably the best character right now in the game. He struggles, again, with a long range character, but his dive potential is just insane. You need a follow up with him, though, if you dive alone, you're gonna die. Uh, but he has so much health. The shield is insane. You get like 1k health. Uh, with the shield once you're like when you're at like 5 HP it's insane his survivability is great his swing is weird though uh, and his wall run is weird as well uh, they need to polish the uh, wall running for all of those characters I think but nonetheless Venom very very good character deals a lot of damage as well has a knock up has a slow has the ultimate which makes him invulnerable just a great character overall very fun to play as well uh, I'm not sure if they they did on purpose putting new characters very very powerful 
uh, but Venom really took away the meta, uh, especially in those early days uh, of um, Marvel Rivals closed beta. All right, we're gonna jump into uh, the um, DPS here. So we have quite a few DPS. We're starting off with Scarlet Witch, and Scarlet Witch, I believe she is uh, A tier. I think Scarlet Witch is on top of Doctor Strange. So people aren't really playing Scarlet Witch that much, but to me, I think she has a lot of uh, utility. I think she's uh, very, very good, especially paired with Magneto. Obviously, Magneto can put a shield on Scarlet Witch when she ults. Uh, she's very, very solid. Um, I think we might need to drop everything a little bit just to give a little bit more wiggle room um, for other stuff. So I think we're going to put Magneto here. Groot here, yep. And then this is where Penny Parker is a hard place. I don't know if she's better or worse than Scarlet Witch. Let's go with uh, that here. Scarlet Witch, very, very good. Can deal with a lot of stuff. Um, you just gotta be taking flanks and then you fade out, fade in, fade out. You got two charges. Very, very good character. Overall, um, just very consistent, consistent damage and consistent finishes from uh, Scarlet Witch with a good ultimate one is uh, when she's healed and supported or shielded um next up we have storm storm is uh, uh one of the fly flying characters we have storm and iron man the two main flying characters and uh, storm is better than she used to be in uh the um alpha i think she's gonna be top of b tier so like i said i kind of pushed everything down a little bit just so we have more uh, wiggle room to place uh like higher tiers characters and lower tier characters um so i'm gonna have to put storm b tier even though she is uh, much better than she was in the alpha i think just the whole i don't think she changed that much but the whole um just meta around storm is much better giving that movement speed uh is great so great off damage dealer here in the b tier guys all those characters are much more balanced in the beta than in the alpha so this is why we see it more stretched out Next up, we have our other flying character, which is Iron Man, and I believe Iron Man is uh, much better. Definitely the best of the flying characters. I think Iron Man's gonna be bottom of A tier. Iron Man just does a lot of damage. I think Halo got nerfed a little bit, which allows Iron Man to do more. And then there's also like the Venom and Spider-Man, which are very prominent in the battle right now. Uh, Spider uh, Iron Man is really good against them. If we look at all of the top tier, uh, Iron Man is good against Magneto, against Venom, against Groot, against Penny, against uh, not Scarlet Witch. But against all of those top tier, uh, he has some big weaknesses against, uh, obviously, Hela and other uh, hit scan. We're going to get into it. But uh, just because of that, he is uh, fairly high uh, on the tier list. And I think he got a buff to his damage at long range. So very, very cool. Next up, Spider-Man. Spider-Man goes top of A tier. Uh, I'm going to put him on... I, I love Magneto a lot. These two might be uh, interchangeable. I'm gonna put a Spider-Man here with a possibility of going higher, okay? Uh, Spider-Man is already extremely powerful right now in the meta, paired with Venom with a big dive comp. It's so annoying to play against uh, a good Spider-Man, but Spider-Man might even go higher with uh, people like Necros or other good Spider-Man players that are gonna push Spider-Man to its limits. Uh, it's the hardest character to play, so it's safe to say that most people haven't reached a full potential of Spider-Man. So keep in mind, Spider-Man could go S tier, uh, especially if you solo main him. And then we have Hela. To me, Hela is uh, probably still uh, the best. I think Hela is the best character in the game still, even uh, with a nerf. Uh, to her damage apparently she still has a two tap on a lot of characters if you get the headshot double headshot on, on so much so many characters um is a kill which is huge because there's so much healing in this game so having that huge burst of the double headshot is huge with hella she's a sniper character she has good mobility i think hella is still the best character in the game i don't think nerf really affected that much if we look um she can kind of go, uh, run away from venom and spider-man but these two are a good matchup against uh hella so these two have a favorable matchup against hella right but other than that hella deals with so much um hella can even take down a spider-man before he reaches reaches her uh, she has the stun as well to help her escape which is great overall destroys iron man destroys storm destroys star lord destroys so many different characters and is so good at picking up the backline uh hella is very good 
when taking an off angle, getting an early pick. Getting an early pick in this game means you often win the fight. Um, so that's why Hella is so good. Um, please tell me if you guys agree with me or not on Hella. I feel like uh, the change really didn't do much. She's still OP. Um, I hope I'm not crazy on that pick. Um, but yeah, I feel like Hella is still top of S tier. Then we have Punisher, which to me is uh, also um, S tier, but probably bottom of S tier. Um, yeah, bottom of S tier. Punisher is great. Another hitscan character. Uh, hitscan very good against like Iron Man. But uh, Punisher also has the shotgun. So the shotgun is very good to deal with uh, Spider-Man and Venom. So Punisher doesn't have the long range burst potential of Hella even though he has some good long range, but he has the short burst, short range burst potential with the shoddy, which makes him extreme, extremely good to defend against a um, Venom or Spider-Man that might be diving the backline. So because of that, Punisher, very, very solid. I think the turret isn't as good as it used to be uh, because of obviously the dive and all of that. Um, but yeah, the shoddy, extremely powerful. The, um, the AR is also powerful. The smoke is also powerful. Very good kid, very solid. Goes in the S tier for sure. Next up we have Magic, one of my favorite characters. Uh, Magic probably goes top of B tier. So B tier is still playable, right? Magic is uh, very solid. Uh, she feels so much more polished. She feels so much more fun to play. Her animations are definitely better. Uh, very good to deal again against those uh, Venom and Spider-Man dive combo. So uh, I use Magic uh, once I see these two diving my back line um this is a good brawl so guys the way i see the whole rock paper scissor right is um spider-man beats hella hella beats uh iron man iron man beats magic and then uh magic beats uh spider-man right so does that make sense so if he if your opponent plays hella you're gonna play spider-man if he plays spider-man well then you're gonna go for magic and then if he plays magic you can go for iron man if he plays iron man you go for hella so something like that make sure to get some good counter picks but because of that magic has some play uh, but if magic is played against iron man which is quite often um she's not gonna get like any value at all so um yeah they're very dependent on the matchup but when she is powerful she uh, very much so is then we have black panther which apparently got buffed but I don't see it. I don't see Black Panther being that good. Once again, which is unfortunate, I love Black Panther. You know what? I'm going to have to put him in the uh, C tier. Uh, I think Black Panther is still bad. Unfortunately, I hope I'm wrong on uh, Black Panther. Very cool character, very cool design. Uh, but I just don't see how Black Panther can be that good. He has the same issues as uh, Magic against those um, Storm, Iron Man. Uh, combo and then he has a, a lot of difficulty actually killing the enemy and surviving with all of his ability so um, yeah, because everyone has so much mobility they can get out of uh, Black Panther's all-in push so yeah because of that, I think he's still weak I hope I'm wrong I want to see awesome Black Panther gameplay I'm still waiting for Jewberry uh, I think uh, Tucker also wanted to play Black Panther I don't know I don't see Black Panther being that good please please let me be wrong uh, next up, Star Lord. Star Lord was extremely, extremely powerful in the alpha. I think he's worse in the uh, beta. I'm gonna put him uh, top of B. So he still has like a lot of burst potential, but once again, so many mobility character with uh, uh, Spider-Man and Venom, it, it makes it hard for him to get uh, kills on those. And then we have uh, Hela that can just burst um, Star Lord very, very easily with uh, like two headshots. Star Lord is good against some target. I think Star Lord can kill like a Scarlet Witch fairly easily or stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I, I think I'm fine placing him B tier. Once again, he has one of the biggest damage potential, but he has to be up close and it's very hard to do so uh, right now in Marvel Rivals. Next up, No More. No More got buffed. To me, No More is probably, let's go. Whew, tough one. Um, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go top of B tier. And uh, should we shift everything down? Yeah, we're gonna shift these two. We're gonna drop these two. And this is gonna allow us to have, yeah, a more balanced tier. Um, yeah, no more is great, especially in defense on those uh, payload game mode. Uh, or on those escort uh, game mode. Um, good value with Luna Slow with the team up. 
Uh, the turrets aren't good. His left shift is now insane, so now he can move with his left shift, with, which allows him to repos uh, reposition. He can go very, very high, then move, then he has his glide, and he's invulnerable during that time, so he can dodge pretty much every single ultimate um, in the game. Very, very, very good. Um, so he has much more survivability, and whilst he's um, escaping, his turrets are still doing damage. His uh, projectile still does a lot of damage, so I'm going to put him uh, right here. And this is going to be it for our uh, damage dealers, and then we're going to jump immediately into our support, starting off with Mantis. So Mantis alt got buffed, um, but is Mantis good? Uh, I unfortunately think Mantis is probably... Well, you know what? Mantis has a good matchup against uh, uh, Dive character. So I think I'm going to place Mantis here. Probably equal to... Uh, you know what? Just a little bit on top of Magic. I think this is a right position because um, she has some uti a lot of utility. She has some damage boosts, which can be... Uh, very very solid her alt got buffed which is all always cool um, but this sleep is fantastic against so many high mobility character if you sleep a spider-man he's dead even if you sleep sometimes a venom he's dead uh, very very good to counter dive and we do see a lot of dive uh once again with these two so yeah you know what yeah yeah, you know what? I'm gonna put him, uh, put her just on top of uh, Starlo here. She does has, uh, does have some good healing, so I'm fine with uh, her here. Next up, we have Loki. I think Loki is uh, still very good with a lot of utility. Probably a little bit higher than uh, Mantis. I'm gonna put, I think Loki here. Loki is another tough one because he's so hard to play. Um, but in the right hands, I think he's definitely going to be like an A tier. He has invulnerability. He has uh, a back, uh, back smack. He has uh, some clones, some good healing. All of he needs to, um, to be very powerful and heal the team. So very, very solid. We're going to keep Adam Warlock at the end. Uh, yeah, Loki, very good. You got to be very good. You got to solo main Loki to be great, just like uh, our Spider-Man um, here. Then we have Rocket Raccoon. I think Rocket Raccoon is uh, unfortunately top of C tier. I don't think Rocket Raccoon being uh, so good. His uh, revive is fine, I guess. I think Adam Warlock just has more value with uh, with that. Um, I don't know. I just feel Rocket Raccoon isn't played as much. Played with Groot, right? Rocket Raccoon is played with Groot quite a bit, uh, but that's it. So um, yeah. I don't know. It's a hard one to, to tell. It's hard to decipher if Rocket Raccoon is the reason you win or not. But more often than not, I feel like he doesn't have that much uh, value in a team. His healing is not that incredible. He doesn't have that much uh, burst healing. So he has consistent healing, but not much burst healing. So that's why I think uh, he's right here. Uh, once again, I hope I'm wrong. And then uh, Luna Snow. Luna Snow felt extremely powerful in the alpha, but now is a little bit less powerful, in my opinion. Um, so I think she's gonna be top of B tier. Let's go top of B tier. Yeah, we're gonna go top of B tier with Luna Snow. So supports are harder to rank, in my opinion, uh, but she does have a freeze. So freeze, the, the Frostbolt is a freeze. Just like Mantis, very good against those counter dive, which is very, very solid. She has some good healing stats. Her ultimate is fantastic. So uh, just because of those reasons, I think Luna Snow deserves to be uh, at least in the B tier. Um, but yeah, guys, once again, the balancing is pretty solid. I think only like these five are harder to play. These two are very hard to play. These, th even these three are playable. Like I've played Storm and had some good moments. It's just like if you're playing against a Hela, you can't do anything. If you're playing against a Punisher, you can't do anything and they're played everywhere. Uh, so that's why like Storm is very tough to play. Uh, Doctor Strange, man, I, I can't believe Doctor Strange is so low, but to me it makes sense. Um, there's just more better tank option with like Groot and Venom and even Magneto. I feel are better. I feel like the uh, Doctor Strange shield gets uh, broken so easily right now. 
Um, so he doesn't have as much value as he used to. And then uh, he's very low mobility, especially, uh, except for his uh, levitate. So yeah, this makes sense to me, but I don't like it. And I hope I'm wrong with uh, Doctor Strange as well. Um, and then finally we have Adam Warlock. I think Adam Warlock is fantastic, but, so I'm gonna put him, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna put it right here, right here on top of uh, Penny Parker under Spider-Man. Spider-Man is fantastic. So uh, yeah, Adam Warlock is fantastic. He doesn't have as much healing as other support. So you need to play him with a second support that does have a lot of healing potential. So Adam Warlock with Loki, with Luna Snow or Mantis, but I wouldn't suggest uh, playing him with like, I guess a raccoon, unless the raccoon focuses on heal um, or you can't play him alone. Right, you can't be the only support with Adam Warlock. He's an off support or off healer, um, even though he has the res and he does have like the chain heal and all of that. He's more of a damage dealer. He's another hit scan, and that is another reason why Storm uh, is so bad and that the meta shift shifted so much because he has a lot of burst damage, not as much as Hela, but if you do get some headshot, you still do a lot of damage with Adam Warlock. So awesome character. I am so glad he was added to the game. I think he's uh, very, very well designed, just like Venom. Uh, but I think Venom, Hela, once again, need to be nerfed a little bit. Um, yeah. Very tough to say. What do you guys think about my tier list? Uh, if you guys love the content, please make sure to like and subscribe. If you guys disagree with anything, make sure to tell me in the comments down below. This is like a day one tier list, right? So uh, I might be wrong on some stuff, uh, but overall, I think I'm fairly correct. I might change a few things. Last time I did a day one tier list, um, it turned out to be pretty accurate by the end of the um, closed alpha. So we'll see if uh, it's still the case for this one. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to try to do some guides and some more gameplay stuff like that. Uh, but until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and bye, guys.